welcome to my mad scientist laboratory. Today my what if question was sparked in my mind when I came out of a clone of the 158 Buchla dual sign sawtooth generator and I came out of the sign and I added the pendulum to it and I got this weird like formant sound uh, which I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting formants. Let me play this for you. So you can hear those little formants. Um, and so I thought, well, is that true with all the other oscillators? So what we've got here is the clone 158. We have a um, clone of the 259. We have a 261E, a 259E, and over here is the Eurorack 158. So, just to remind you of what this sounded like. Now I'm going to come out of the triangle wave. That's the closest I can get on the mod oscillator side of the 259. And I'm going into keyboard, which is probably very similar to just going into the un since the 158 doesn't have attenuation. So, keyboard. Uh. And even if I go into the attenuated one and change that, it's really different. <laughs> Now the sine wave out of the principal oscillator. Attenuated. Yeah, okay, interesting. Out of the 261 sine wave. Of the sine wave of the mod oscillator, the 261. Out of the 259E uh, principle. Fascinating how these are all different. I'm sure there's, you know, I'm guessing it's all different circuitry. I'm not technical, I'm empirical. So you're getting to watch my empirical what ifs. So just to remind us where we came from, back to the 158 clone. <laughs> Coming up on a different uh, audio is the 158 Eurorack, which I have to translate here. So we'll look same Benjolin uh, random madness and flip into external. So we still get that sort of form thing going there. So just to re to, this was all being com coming out of the Benjolin uh, as far as randomness. So there are all the different flavors, responses, reactions of these oscillators to the exact same CV out, random CV out. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, have fun.